it is Alisa here, or the Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy you are here. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're returning, as always, I really appreciate your support. I can't say that enough. Today, I have another spooky small shop haul, I guess. I don't know. I've been calling my small shop hauls spooky <laughs> just because I'm hosting a, a Halloween or fall, a diamond painting event this year based in my Facebook group. I always kind of give a little disclaimer. It's not too late to join. If you do want to join in, head over to the Facebook group. Links to that are in the description box of this video. It's just a fun fall or Halloween or spooky themed diamond paint along. Uh, I'm featuring lots and lots of Canadian small shops because I am Canadian myself. Lots of people voted for um, those months, September, October, and I thought it would be perfect because it would coincide with other events. So if people wanna work on the same canvas, they can work on the same canvas for multiple events. Uh, what's more community than that, right? I have packages from four different sponsors for our fall diamond painting event. They've been sitting here uh, impatiently waiting to be unboxed. I've cut them all open just to save me some time and struggle. And I can't wait to get into some of these. So let's start with the one closest to me. Of course, I do have them flipped over just because I haven't marked out the addresses. This is from one of our small shop hosts called Crochet One Tears. Now let's see if there's a business card in here. There is, so just give me a second here. Let me get out all of the goodies. Let me get this. So I went to this shop to get uh, a few specific things actually. And this is one of them. I thought this little snowman cover minder is so cute and would be perfect for my winter diamond painting event that I also put up the announcement video for. Uh, the winter one will be the month of December only, and it'll just be the same same rules as the fall diamond painting event. So head over to the Facebook group if you want more info on that. There's also an announcement video actually up on my YouTube channel. I've started a playlist, Winter DP Along, so you can check that playlist out for that announcement video. But anyways, that's not the point of this. Here is the sponsor. This is Crochet One Tears. They are based in Quebec. And here are all of their information. So they have an email. They are on Instagram, diamondpainting.addict, uh, YouTube, Crochet One Tears, and Facebook. Here is their boutique as well. So they are based on Etsy. And they sell a whole bunch of different diamond painting accessories. Their shop is chock full. They've got the pens. They've got... Um, fancy cutters which i'm going to show you they've got uh, light pad covers they've got washi tape they have a whole bunch of minders they have all sorts of things they have diamond painting wax i know i'm missing tons of products that they have but just head over to the shop to find out more um they use the nice magnets for these minders too these are the nice and strong neodymium magnets so those are great this is perfect i actually might go and order a couple more um just to have for my diamond painting little stitch sticker, little candy as well. This is what I went there for originally because I remembered that I saw it there. This is the ceramic blade cutter that I've talked about in previous videos when it comes to kitting up your diamond painting and cutting that plastic sleeve on your canvas. So this is the little ceramic cutter that I've talked about. So it's, you can see that little blade just sticking out of the corner there, right there. It's kind of hard to see. Very, very tiny ceramic blade. And you can use this to cut that plastic without cutting your canvas. I've used it before and I don't know where it went. That's why I had to order another one, but I knew she had them. So I'm glad I could order just one and not a pack of how many ever on Amazon for, for too much money. I always love supporting small shops uh, when I can. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use this uh, for my current whips to uh, try out um, the other small shop, Imagicrafts by Cindy, which I did an unboxing for, and um, I had mentioned about this pen in that video, but it hadn't arrived yet. I think it arrived the day after I already filmed that video, but um, yeah, these are really handy. If you're somebody who likes to cut their plastic on top of the canvas, uh, these uh, this is kind of virtually the only way you can be sure you don't cut through it. 
Uh, I've never cut through it. I've heard of other creators uh, not cutting through it. So um, hopefully there's not somebody out there who actually has used it and it's cut. But uh, in my experiments, experience, it's the safest option. Another sticker here I missed. Another candy I missed. And I also went there for this light pad cover. So uh, if you have a light pad that has an on and off button that doesn't lock, um, you know if you rub your on arm on it ever so slightly, it'll turn either the light pad off or the brightness way up. I wanted to get a couple light pad holders to have um, for to prevent that from happening. So I chose this one. Um, it's hard to see because it's all black. There's a little diamond on the top. On one side, they have a little... Um, like sticky glue there that you can peel that back. You stick it on just above where the light pad switch is and then this will open and close like this so that when you're diamond painting, this will cover that power button or the brightness button so you're not switching it off and on uh, while you're diamond painting. So I got two because you can't go wrong buying two. Um, super excited to use those. I got a uh, actually a paint gem light pad um, specifically for my paint gem kits and that's why I wanted that. So this shop has a lot of the little novelties that you think you might not need or maybe you haven't seen elsewhere so I highly recommend checking out this shop and then I also wanted to get some of the washi tape because um, well in preparation for the winter diamond paint along because now I'm collecting winter goodies for prize packs. So I, won't, I thought I would support her shop. She had a few winter designs here. So there's this one, which is uh, reindeer and Christmas trees. And then this one is a red truck with the Christmas tree on the back. Very classic image. And then this is um, looks like poinsettias and holly. I'm not gonna open this because they are covered in a nice plastic. Um, I did get these with the intent to put in prize packs, so I don't wanna don't wanna ruin them. But that's awesome. There's a lot of washi on on this on this roll. It would last a very long time. So um, here's my little haul from Crochet One Tears. Again, check them out. They've donated five accessory prize packs for the event. I've given a couple away. I think two away already. Uh, she put together these prize packs and uh, sent them over to me to share with everybody. i uh, super grateful for the shop owner for doing that. So let me put these off to the side here. Try and keep them in frame. I'm always bad at that. Let's go over here. This is another uh, small shop that uh, I've been waiting and waiting to try. Let me see if there's a card. There is a card. I love when small shops send business cards in their packages. That way we get all of the information right. So this is another Canadian shop. Uh, Realizations, Eric A. Kareen. Again, French Canadian friends. Don't laugh at me for my poor French pronunciation, but um, they are a Canadian small shop uh, based in Quebec as well. The Quebec and Ontario diamond painting communities are just gigantic, especially Quebec. Uh, these uh, QR codes, one should take you to their Facebook page and the other should take you to their website. So they have a Shopify website where you can purchase uh, and take a look at their goodies. They offer 3D printed accessories. They offer hand turned diamond painting pens and blanks. And they've also recently started uh, producing some diamond paintings as well. I've never tried out the trays, so I was really excited to get one. They also sent some candy. And this little freebie here, which is like one of those uh, fidget toys where you can kind of push and keep your fingers busy. This tray looks amazing. Now they had a few different tray designs to choose from. I can't quite remember which one I chose. I feel like it's the ant version, but I could be totally wrong. I'm loving this uh, at first look. The color I chose is so pretty. I wanted one of those color changing and this purple is just so gorgeous. And then there's blue and green. I love it. Uh, the spacing on the lines looks great. And I noticed that this stopper is one that does not budge. Well, I shouldn't say that. It does pop out. But as you can see, it's kind of like a walking stopper, which is really neat. I know I've heard some people say in the past that they hate when the stopper kind of moves about. Uh, this one, it's printed in a way that it, it basically locks it in there. It's not going anywhere. So that's really neat. And then you just kind of wiggle and pop it up. Let's pour some, well, do I have diamonds? Let me get some diamonds. Sorry, I always forget something. Uh, let's pour some diamonds in here to see how it shakes out. 
I really like the sides of this tray too. They're not too short, but they're also not too wide. And look how nice those diamonds. I, of course, filled it too full, but look how nice those diamonds uh, line up. I can tell that they'll work very nicely with squares as well because they're a bit, there's a bit of space on top of those squares. So the, if you didn't know, rounds are a little bit bigger than the squares, but they're sitting so nicely. I absolutely love this tray. I love the size, I love the weight, I love the color. You can customize your color, so that's another neat feature. You can choose um, uh, like a single color scheme or they have multiple colors like this tray I got. Sorry, I need to concentrate to pour these back. I don't wanna make a mess. I absolutely loved how it emptied the diamonds back. Got one straggler there. I absolutely love the tray. I, I, I'm excited to use this actually. I have so many different accessories I love that I'm always switching up what I use, but I can't wait to use this tray. I think it's gonna um, be one of my favorites. I know I say that about everything, but I can like lots of things. <laughs> now, I also got a few other goodies from their website. Something new that I don't have that I thought I would get because they had some available on their website are these tweezers and they make them fancy. So you can see she's put some kind of resin, um, kind of colorful um, paint on there. Very nice, these are gold. They had different colors. They also had these kind of bent pointy tips and they also had uh, other uh, tips, like straight edge tips. These are the super sharp ones, so you're gonna to wanna to keep that plastic sleeve and keep that on. But I thought this was neat for those of you that like to uh, place with tweezers. She has some uh, fancy options you can get. And then there's two pens here. Let me see if I can get this one out. This one is a shorter pen. I got one short one and one regular size one. These pens were already turned. I believe you can also have them turn a blank for you into a pen design that you want. This is very, very pretty. Nice pink with some different color inclusions in there. It's nice and light. I, I like these short kind of pens. It's very comfortable to hold as well. As you can see, it came with a couple uh, plastic tips. This one is a four placer over there. That is really, really nice. I can see some gold flake in there as well. I like having these short pens. Um, I always have one going when I'm diamond painting and I put some of the hard beeswax in it and have it on the side when I have to place ABs. Ooh, this one is pretty as well. Look at that blue and purple. That's gorgeous. And it's also turned very nicely. I like this thickness. It looks like both sides are comfortable to hold. They are, that's awesome. We've got looks like probably a seven placer and a plastic single placer now you should be able to yeah pop these out put your own tips in there if you like metal tips or if you have specific plastic tips you like this is a standard regular size pen as you could see next to the other um so yeah i was excited to try out their pens as well because i haven't yet uh, bought them from them so super happy to support them head over to their website to see everything they have I think with most small businesses, they do sell out of things quickly. So um, they also have a Facebook group that I'll link down below as well. You can uh, hop over there to um, be uh, made aware of um, new things coming and, and such. They actually did at the time this video goes up, that post probably will be down already, but um, they've started creating these really cool blanks with charms inside or like, um, like little resin pieces. I wish I had one to show you, but I don't. Like little characters like this, but in mini size in the pen. So um, that's really neat to have a Canadian option as well for that kind of pen. Let's take a look at this one next. This one is for a, a new shop, a new to the community and also new to me shop. Um, she reached out to me uh, when I think like the last week of August, uh, asking to sponsor our event. Of course I said yes. She's a new shop. The shop name is called L Charms and she's on Etsy. Let's open this just to see if it shows some more info. This is a free gift, it looks like. A little free minder with some uh, multi-placers, which is really cool. 
I like her little bag. That's very neat. It's got flowers on it. I love her presentation as well. You can tell that she's taken some extra steps to make it special. She's got some butterflies on the back of this paper. And this little resin uh, seashell is very neat. It's a cover minder. She also uses the nice neodymium magnets, which are nice and strong. Uh, if you don't know what cover minders are for, they usually are uh, for holding the plastic back on your diamond painting. I use them to secure release papers, um, or they can just hang out on your canvas to keep you company. And it's a little thank you for supporting our small business. So her shop, she actually named after her daughter, which is really neat. And yeah, she's on Etsy. I will have her shop linked down below. Looks like she sent us a whole bunch of tips because she sent uh, me a pen. Wow, this is gorgeous. Now she had reached out to me uh, asking me if I would try this pen. It's a different kind of pen than I've ever tried. It's like an aluminum, I think, or or titanium, probably aluminum. It has this beautiful little little flower pattern here. This is actually a perfect pen if you really like the pink uh, pens that come with the basic toolkits in diamond paintings, like the, the plastic straight tips you might like this it is a little bit thicker on one end but you can flip it over and this side is probably as thin as that I actually do like a little bit of a width to my pens so this is perfect it's lightweight and it's pretty it's something totally different so she's got this single placer and then she sent a bunch of tips that uh, we can pop in the other end there so that's really neat I'm excited to try this one out very very cool I like that it's it's lightweight and it's um nice and thin you know some days i like a thicker pen and then other days my hands are too sore and i want a really thin pen so uh, thank you so much for sending over that pen and let's take a look at these charms in here so she's got it packaged nicely look at the packaging isn't it absolutely amazing you can tell she's put a lot of thought behind this and I think it's just presented so nicely I'm just covering up a coupon code there um, a little something from my shop you are appreciated thank you very very much uh, for sending this over I love these two minders paired together they complement each other really really well I am going to eventually be doing a uh, event next year, sometime early next year, maybe the springtime. These minders I thought would be perfect for that. So I'm gonna keep those aside. These are again, the nice neodymium magnets. Those are really nice magnets. I just don't wanna share that code. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to. So uh, these are little uh, sunflowers, which are awesome. Again, nice size magnets as well. Very impressed with the cover minders here. Take a look at her shop. Again, she is brand new. So she is uh, adding to her shop all of the time. I believe she said she would have an, uh, a, a restock or a um, new things added to her shop shortly. Uh, she is also offered to sponsor our winter event. So I can't wait to see what kind of winter uh, minder she comes up with. These are actually great quality. I'm actually really um, impressed with the quality of these little minders. Those are cute. And this little seashell is a little bonus as well. So thank you so much for all of these goodies. Again, she is a sponsor. Check out her shop. Show her shop some love. And we've got one more package from another sponsor of our event. Now, I think a lot of you probably have already bought in from her shop. She is uh, relatively new to the community as well. And her shop has just taken off. Uh, when you support a small business, you are supporting a dream. Thank you for your order. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. I hope you enjoy these papers with your DP. Sabrina is the owner of this shop. The shop name is called Bee's Crafty Corner, and she's selling release papers, printed release papers to be precise. And actually, uh, on a time of filming here yesterday, she just announced that she will take on custom orders as well. So if you have like a family photo or maybe an art piece that the artist has given you permission to turn into release papers or... Um, maybe something you draw or something, anything, and you would like her to make them into custom release papers, you can do that. You can head over to her shop. I, from my understanding, she has a listing on her shop for it. I think there's an option for six and 12 uh, release papers. And um, yeah, 
I, when I saw these, I thought these would be perfect for my current whip. I'm working on Off to Grandmother's House We Go. Uh, it's a diamond art club with the three black kitties um, kind of marching off to grandma's house. So when I saw these, I thought I have to get these. So um, the next time I move my release papers, I'm going to put these guys on there. These are great quality as well. They're nice and thick. They've got this nice non-stick side. And this top part here is like a glossy finish. don't know if you can see that. This is a perfect size for me. I can't remember what size I chose. Uh, I believe she did have options. She also had options on how many you wanted to get. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 12 here. These, I have a feeling, would last me a long time because I take good care of my things. Um, they're nice and thick, so I don't think they'd rip easy. I don't think the corners would roll up easy. I think they would last a really long time. But isn't that pattern so cute? I know I've seen lots of you guys posting in the Facebook group about your release papers you've gotten from her. Uh, and I've just been sitting back waiting for mine to arrive. So super happy. These only arrived, I think, yesterday or the day before at time of filming. So I can't wait to... Uh, use these on my current whip as well. So make sure you check out these shops again. We have Crochet One Tears. We have Bees Crafty Corner. We've got um, Realizations, Eric and Kareem. And we have L Charms. All of their shop links are going to be in the uh, description box of the video. If you're not sure how to find that, I actually do have a video showing you guys in the tips and tricks section but i also do have all of our sponsors listed in the facebook group i have a dedicated video for them as well you can find that in the um uh, fall dp along 2023 playlist on my youtube channel all of the videos related to this event are going to be uh, found there so if you want to see the event sponsor video it's quite apparent it says event sponsors in the bright glowing uh, color um you can check out all of our sponsors there as well. Uh, I hope everybody is having a wonderful uh, time during this diamond painting event, as well as other events going on in the community. I love seeing everybody's progress. We've had lots of finishes and lots of new starts. So I uh, can't wait to continue on the rest of the event with y'all. Until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye. Bye.